So this is a vacuum bazooka. And the idea is that we take a low pressure produced by a vacuum cleaner, and we have a low pressure on one side of a projectile and a high pressure, in this case, just the atmosphere on the other. And that's why we call it the vacuum bazooka. And uh, we basically um, evacuate this, air rushes up this tube, goes down here to the vacuum cleaner, the projectile will be pushed along by the differential pressure, and because of its inertia, will come straight out. That's the plan. Let's see whether it works. So, got pressure applied, apply projectile, and let's see. Uh, well, it moves, but it, it moves very slowly. So let's take the, uh, take the vacuum pressure off and uh, see if we can improve on that. Um, one of the problems here is that uh, air is pushing the projectile for sure, but too much air is rushing in this direction. So it's not generating much differential pressure, it's not going up to much speed with the projectile, and it's not coming out of the end. So what we need to do is keep air from rushing in there. And we can do that by putting a flap on the front. And we'll build a much better vacuum pressure there. Now we've got a vacuum gauge here, so we can measure how much vacuum pressure we're getting. And I'll put the vacuum cleaner on, and then put this muzzle paper over the end, and we should get a much better vacuum pressure. And there's the vacuum gauge. And you see, not much of a vacuum pressure now because we're still letting air in at the, mus at the loading end where the projectile is. But now when I put the projectile in, you should see the vacuum pressure building here. So can you see that's, that's the vacuum pressure we're building. That's enough to accelerate the projectile now. So let's try a shot now, see if we can hit the target there. I'm going to let go of the projectile and it's built off a good vacuum pressure and hopefully we'll hit the target. And there we are, projectile straight on target. <laughs>